Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over how to make this beautiful sweet cherry wine shawl. Um, now this is huge. I used two balls of super fine yarn. Um, let's try and get the measurements of this shawl for you guys. So I'm going to fold this in half to make it a little bit easier to get a better idea of how wide this is. So. So from point to point, it is roughly 29 and a half, or from point to center, it's about 29 and a half inches. So you're looking at roughly 59 inches across. And let's see how tall it is. So starting from the center. Hold this a little bit out of the way so you guys can see. So let's go all the way. So from center to point, we are looking at we're looking at roughly 36 and a half inches. So this is definitely a decent sized shawl. Um, it's super lightweight. It's got a really nice straight to it, as you can see. Um, I will insert a picture of me with this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on this beautiful shawl. So to make this shawl, I am using some of this yarn from my stash. Um, I got this at a local market here. Um, as you can see, this is the color. So it's like a pink, some burgundies, and a little bit of purple in there. It's nice shimmer. Um, it's 70% acrylic, 24% merino wool, and 6% polyester. It's a 100 gram ball, 470 meters or 512 yards, made in Turkey. Um, it calls for a size 3 to 3.5 crochet hook or US 4 knitting needle. It's a hand wash yarn, um, but you don't have to use this size. And as you can see, this yarn is super fine I would say it's about a size one um, you don't have to use this you can use any size weight that you want um, you just have to adjust your hook size according to your yarn um, but for mine I am going to use a size 4.5 millimeter crochet hook um, you will also need a pair of scissors um, a darning needle and if you like a stitch marker so to begin this, you are going to pull your yarn from the end, whichever way works best for you that you like to. You just get this. Come on. Sorry, guys. All right. So to begin this, um, there's two ways you can begin your shawl. You can do the magic ring or you can do the chain four and then join to form a ring, whichever way works best for you. Me personally, I like to do the magic ring. So I'm just going to go ahead and oops, make my magic ring. Okay. So there is my magic ring. I'm just going to close that so it's a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one more and then we're going to make three double crochets into this circle. So that's one, two, three. So like that. Then we're going to chain two. So one, two, and we're going to make three more double crochets into this circle. One, two, and three. Okay, 
Then we're just going to close our circle up. And that is our first row. For the second row, we're going to chain up two. So one, two. Now this chain two does not count as a stitch for this pattern. So once you chain the two, you're going to turn your work. And in that first stitch, so right there, you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now, each row is going to begin with three double crochets in that first stitch and end in that last stitch with three double crochets. Every single row is going to begin and end like that. It does not matter which row you are on. You're always going to begin with three double crochets in that first stitch and end with three double crochets in the last stitch. Now we are just going to make one double crochet into the next two double crochets. So there's one. And then right in that stitch, two. And then when you get to the center, you're going to make two double crochets into that chain two space from the last row. Chain two, or yep, chain two after that second double crochet. And then you're gonna make two more double crochets. So just like so. And every chain two space is going to have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then we're going to make one double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one. And then right here, your second one. And now we are at the end of the row. And in this last stitch right here, we're going to make three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. So there is the end of row two. Now, if you like, at this point, you can take your stitch marker and place it in that chain two space so that way you always know where your center point is. So just like that. Okay. So. All right. So for row three, we are going to again chain up two. So one, two, turn our work, and then that first space right there our first chain or stitch we're going to make our three double crochets so there's one two and three and then we're just going to make one double crochet into each of the next stitches until we get to our chain two space so there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then when you get to that chain two space, remove your stitch marker and you're going to make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into this chain two space from the last row. There's the chain two and two more double crochets. So one and two. And then we're just going to make one double crochet in each of the next st stitches until we get to our last stitch and then we will make three double crochets in that last stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, 
four. Five. And then six. And then we are at the last stitch. We're going to make three double crochets into that last stitch right there. So it's one, two, and three. So there we have finished our first three rows. Now we're going to move on to the fillet rows. So again, we're going to begin by chaining up two. And in that first stitch, we're going to make three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip one double crochet, and into the next one, make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and in the next, make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and in the next, double crochet. We're going to repeat this until we get to the center of our center point. So I just chained one, I'm going to skip the next one and double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, and it brings me to the last double crochet from the last row right before the chain two. So I'm going to make a double crochet right into that stitch. And then I'm also going to chain one and then make two double crochets into that center. So there's one. two, chain two, two double crochets, and then now we're just going to do the exact same thing that we did over here but in reverse. So we're going to chain one, and then we're going to make one double crochet into that double crochet right next to the chain two space, chain one, Skip one and into the next, make one double crochet, chain one, skip one and double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one and double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, Oops. and then we're going to skip one, and then it brings us to our last stitch, and that's where we're going to make three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. And then that is the end of our first row of fillets. So this is what it's looking like so far. All right, so for row five, we're going to do another fillet row. So we're going to chain up two, turn our work, and we're going to make three double crochets into that first stitch. So there's one, two, and three. We're going to chain one, skip one, and we're going to double crochet into the top of that double crochet from the last row. We're going to chain one, skip this chain space, and double crochet into the top of that double crochet from the last row. So for our second row of fillets, every chain space is going to be on top of the chain space from the previous row. And then we're going to double crochet into the tops of the double crochets from the last row as well. So just like that. I'm going to repeat this all the way until our chain two space. Alright, 
right, so here we are. We're right before our chain two space. We're going to make a double crochet into this double crochet right here. We're going to chain one and then we're going to skip this double crochet and make our two double crochets into this chain two space. There's one, two, we're going to chain two, two double crochets in this chain two space. So just like that, we're going to chain one, skip this double crochet and into the next one, make one double crochet. And we're just going to repeat the pattern going all the way back down until we get to our last stitch. And then we're going to make three double crochets into that last stitch. So go ahead and do that and I will meet you guys when I get to that last stitch here. I made it back to the end. I'm going to chain one, skip this double crochet and into that last stitch, I'm going to make my three double crochets. One, two, and three. And that is pretty much it, guys. For this next row, it's going to be a repeat, basically, of our beginning rows. So again, we're going to make sure we chained up two, make three double crochets in this first chain first stitch and we're going to make one double crochet into each stitch and each chain one space all the way until we get to our center so when you get to the chain one space you're just gonna go right through it and make one double crochet and then a double crochet on the top all the way until the center point of your shawl. Okay, so I have made it to the center point of my shawl. I'm going to make one last double crochet right there on the top of that one from the last row. I'm going to make two double crochets into that center chain two space. So just like so. Chain two. Make two more double crochets. And then just like what I did Coming up to the center, I'm going to do the same thing going back down. I'm going to make one double crochet into each stitch and each chain one space going back down. And make sure when you're doing this not to forget your chain one spaces. Because if you do, it's going to throw off your pattern when you get to the next set of fillets. So go ahead and make one double crochet into each stitch and I will meet you at the end of this row. So I have made it to the end of my row. I did my last, um, I did three double crochets in that last stitch and then this is how my shawl is looking right now. Um, as you can tell, the edges are slightly curving just a little bit, and that is absolutely fine. But that is pretty much how this shawl is done. The entire, the whole thing is done. So once you get um, done with this row, where you make one double crochet in each stitch, you're just basically going to repeat what you just did from rows two to row six is the repeat. So you're going to have three rows of double crochets and then two rows of your fillets and then 
again after that fillet, you're going to have your three rows of double crochets, one in each stitch, and then your two rows of fillets. So go ahead and do two more rows of double crochets and I will meet back up with you guys when I get to the next set of fillets. All right, everyone, so I have done my three rows of double crochets, one in each stitch. And this is what my shawl is starting to look like. Now I'm gonna show you one more time how to do the beginning row of the fillets. So just like every other row, we're going to chain up two, turn our work, and we're going to make three double crochets into that first stitch. There's one, two, and three. We're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the next one, make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, in the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way until we get to our center chain two space. So go ahead and keep doing this until you get to your center. Now we are towards the end, we're towards the point. We have three stitches left until we get to our chain two space. So we chained one, we're gonna skip the next double crochet and the next one we're going to double crochet, chain one, and then we're going to skip this last double crochet and make two double crochets into our chain two space from the last row. We're always gonna chain or skip that last double crochet and jump right to our chain two space. So if you look back when we did this first row of fillets, so right here, we, we double crocheted in this last double, double crochet, but then we Change one and skipped one, but in the next one, we skipped that last double crochet and went straight into the center space. So, once you do that, you're going to chain two, make two more double crochets into this center space. And you're just going to do the exact same thing they did over here. So chain one, skip one and into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next, all the way down to the end of this row. Just like so. And when you make it all the way back down to the end, you're going to chain one and you'll notice you have two stitches left. And that is exactly what we want. So we're going to skip this stitch and in this last one, 
we're going to make our three double crochets. And then we're just going to basically repeat this row for our second row of fillet stitches. And then we're just going to do our repeats of the three rows, these three rows of double crochets, one in each stitch, and then do our fillets. And we're just going to keep alternating these two rows until your shawl is as big as you want it to be. So go ahead and do that and I will catch back up with you guys when I am all done with my shawl. And I will show you guys where I ended off and how I finished it. Okay, so once you have made your scarf or shawl as long as you like, you will go ahead and fasten off. Um, now I'm going to fasten off on a fillet row only because this is what I have left and that will definitely not be enough to do one more row of double crochets, but that is just fine. Um, if you like, you can end, do the same thing and end on a fillet row. Or what I suggest is to end on a row of double crochets. Just so that way when you block it, it's a little bit neater. And you won't have to put your needles into these little hole spaces. But it's up to you. It's your own personal preference. But for me, I'm just going to end right here. So I'm just going to take my scissors, cut my yarn. And I am just going to go ahead and fasten off. And then all you need to do is just go back through your, your shawl and sew in all of your ends. So that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And to hit that little bell for notifications. And I will see you guys all next time.